everybody, this is Kathy, and today is mm, Sunday, September 10th, 2017. And I am actually getting ready to go to work. Got my trailer hooked up. Um, I got a job this morning. And I'm also, uh, this is the second week that I'll be setting up my sale here. I'm having a, another sale. As you can see, um, I'm liquidating all my, um, I'm liquidating everything for uh, all my inventory from my business I've had for 10 years. Uh, and while I was setting up last week, I had a woman working for me, one of my regulars, and I'm always trying to witness to her and tell her that we're at the end times. And then she said, all right, she's got a lot of questions. She's very interested. Um, <clears throat> every time she works with me, she only works with me on the sales. Um, so I only see her every few months. And I, every time I see her, I leave her lots to, uh, lots to think about. And now this time when she was at, uh, last week she was over and she was working for me. She said, Kathy, I got a question. Don't be offended. And I said, no, go hit me. You know, tell me. Ask me any question you want. And she said, well, she said, if you believe that we're so close to the end, why do you keep working? And I said, well, that's a good question. Um, but there's not a lot of good answers for that. Uh, I work, I'm going to work right up to the end because the um, Lord expects us to. Okay, in the book of Acts, as soon as Jesus, when he ascended up into heaven, and the disciples watched him go up, they watched him go up, the angel, two angels appeared and said, why are you staring at the sky? And he said, don't worry, Jesus will come back the same way he left. <clears throat> you know, uh, don't be staring at the sky waiting for him. And don't drop everything you're doing to just sit and wait for the Lord. Um, he expects you to be busy. He expects you to be tearing. He expects, I mean, not tearing. He expects you to be working. He expects you, he expects you to be at the mill grinding when he returns, you know, when he returns. He expects um, people to be working and carrying on and spreading the good news. Okay, so... <clears throat> and he also, I did videos, he, God also hates lazy. He hates when people don't um, work and uh, provide for themselves, okay? So for you to say, for anybody to say, well, I'm not going to work anymore, or it's too close to the end. Well, yeah, we're close to the end, but what if it's another year? What if it's another two years? You know, what if it's another five years? You know, you can't stop working because we're at the end. Of, and, and you know, because what happens then is you're going to become somebody else's problem. All right? And that happens a lot. And uh, so, no, you don't want to become somebody else's problem. Here's some of the... Uh, some of the uh, <laughs> some of the stuff I have set up for the sale in China. But we got a lot to work to do. We've done a lot. We got more coming. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm working hard. I had my Sabbath off yesterday, where I rested and I prayed and studied and you know re relaxed. And now I'm back to work for the week. Probably the whole week. I don't think I have got a single day off this week, so um, starting today. So yeah, I I do. Uh, okay, I both both I both expect the Lord to return, the Lord's return very soon, at any time. But in the meantime, you won't find me staring at the sky doing nothing. I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna work. And while I'm working, 
I see a lot of people. Working gives me an opportunity to witness. Besides, work gives me an opportunity to provide for myself. Work gives me an opportunity to witness to other people. I mean, I'm, I see people all the time, just like probably most of you do in your job. It's, uh, you see a lot of people when you go to work. And maybe one or two of those a day I could try to say something to, you know. Um, it's, it's, uh, the last thing you want to do is stop what you're doing and stare at the sky. Okay? Um, you're no good to anybody. You're going to become somebody else's problem. And um, it's uh, not what God wants. So whether it is um, going to be today or a year from today or five years from today. Okay. Um, just keep busy, everybody. Keep working. Keep serving the Lord. Um... And he'll be here soon enough. He'll be here soon enough. You know, but stay busy. Stay busy. Um, I just noticed this maple tree right here. Got his first touch of red on it. For fall. Yeah, well, this tree gets pure red. Just the whole thing, just bright red. It's beautiful. But, yeah, fall's here. Fall's coming. Fall's here. And, uh... But I just want to say that, um, yeah, I, I do work a lot, but I'm not working like I used to. I used to work all the time, all day, every day, so I could save up my treasures on earth. But I don't do that anymore. Like I say, as a matter of fact, I'm liquidating my treasures. <laughs> I'm turning it into cash and Bibles and uh, and uh, supplies and... and uh, you know, so, well, I'm off to work, uh, uh, stay in prayer, pray for the people who are getting their, uh, homes all flooded and, in one torn down in Florida, uh, and everywhere else, um, there's been a lot of people who, who, uh, are not in their homes this morning, shoot, over the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of people who no longer have a home. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I praise God that I am in my home. I am in a bed. I am a warm, uh, clean sheets. I, you know, I have all the food I want. Um, water's not pouring in. Um, all kinds of stuff I should be thankful for. And I am. So I do praise God and I'm going to just keep, um, I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep serving the Lord until the day comes whether it's uh, this month next month next year five years from now I'm gonna be here I'm gonna be working I'm gonna be spreading the word and uh, when Jesus comes he's gonna find me busy um, not crazy busy like I used to be because that's not good but I'll, he'll find me serving him and uh, I hope he finds you serving him too Anyway, have a blessed day. God bless each and every one of you. All praise and glory goes to God.